First, we're going to check the tube status. Press the Do key until the main menu is reached. Use the arrow keys to highlight status menu and then press return. Use the arrow keys to highlight tube status then press return. Type in the tube ID. In this case it's going to be number two. And now we're going to check the status of the tube. Currently the, the tube is complete and there's no step time or process time. Enable the tube, and if the tube is not in standby, press the stop button until it's in standby. Right now, it's complete, but it's not in standby. So we're going to press the stop button. And now the tube has gone from complete into standby. And down here it says standby as well. Press the Duke key until the main menu is reached. Use the arrow keys to highlight recipe menu and then press return. Use the arrow keys to highlight compile recipe and then press return. Enter the recipe name. In this case, we're going to put in four wet ox. For recipe name number two, you're going to press return. Parameter table, press return. Download only, we're going to press return. For the tube ID, in this case, the tube ID is number two. It'll now start compiling the recipe. It'll come back and ask for the delay time and for the temperature. For this, we're going to put the delay time in for 20 minutes. This is the actual oxidation time or the anneal time. The recipe will continue and it'll come back and ask for the temperature. We're going to put in 900 for the, our temperature, 900 degrees C, and it will continue to compile. It takes about a minute for it to compile, and at the end it will, fla it will flash recipe, compile succeeded. Recipe compile succeeded. Now we're ready to run our program. So we're going to press the start button. And the tube will start to come out, will boat out. Okay, load your wafers in. Now we're going to press the start button so that the boat goes in.
once the processing is, is done, we're going to hit the start button to open the tube back up. Now that the wafers have cooled down, we're going to go ahead and unload. Now we're going to press the start button so that the boat goes in. Thank you. 